What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we are back with some more Georgia Southern Dynasty. And we have climbed our way back in the top 25 polls after a win versus Texas. So Washington, they're ranked number one, followed by Miami. Then you got Maryland. Look at Cal. Is this a prophecy for our Cal Dynasty? Hopefully it is. Then you got Nebraska, USC after them, Florida, they're in the top 10. Texas Tech is also in the top 10, and so is Wake Forest. Minnesota's ahead of Michigan, who just beat the Buckeyes. Iowa's at the Michigan and Georgia. Oklahoma lost to Baylor. Where's RG3 at? Colorado, they're on a one-year probation, and they're ranked number 15, followed by LSU, Auburn, Kent State, Ole Miss lost to LSU. San Diego State, Ohio State, number 21 in the land. And then you got Tennessee, Virginia. Tech and the good old boys from Georgia Southern, followed by Virginia, who lost to Virginia Tech. So there's some movement in the top 25. Texas is no longer up in there. The best player right now is Corey Barrow, and he is the top quarterback, and he represents Cal. Again, are they prophesizing? And then our opponent is Ohio State. They have Jeff Rodriguez, who by this standard might be the best running back in the land. So can we handcuff this guy. I'm hoping that we can. Number 21 taking on number 24. You see the injuries for us. You see the injuries for them. They're missing a 93 overall center, which must suck. It must. But tough toenails, sweetie. We're going to try to stop that man right there. We're going to get the football first. Going to run the ball with Ashton Smith, who's back off of a three-game suspension. And he picks up a first down. Give it to him again. We're going to work this young man. Gets brought down after a gain of just three. So third down and seven now. Leonard looking. Let that thing flies. Caught by Gonzalez. Move those chains. First down and 10 for the 39. Going to give it to Justin Battle. We have horses in the stable. And that is a good look. Because our defense put clamps on Texas. Hope they can do the same here versus Ohio State. And that running game on offense should help aid the defense as well. So third down and two quick pass. Caught and then dropped by Bass. A huge hit. Knocks that football to the grass. And we got to settle for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good by Johnson. So here comes Ohio State. Kearney going to fake it to Rodriguez. Throws it downfield. Caught by Johnson. The big fullback. Get your fullbacks in the ball. They, they know it. And they do it well. Back to back plays to the fullback and they have themselves a first down from the 32. Rodriguez up that gut, boxed in by Estes. Second down and six now. We get a good pass rush. They heave it deep downfield and that pass falls incomplete. So the pass rush helps out the secondary in the back end. Third down and six. Play fake. Kearney looking, throwing it, and that pass intercepted. Not intercepted, but broken up, excuse me, by Matt Brown. Intended to Johnson, their big fullback yet again. Smith to the outside, and Smith is going to pick up a nice game there. Third down and two from the 22-yard line. Leonard looking, letting that thing fly. It's caught by Smith, and Smith is going to have himself a first down. So we're going to run the ball. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Jordan is loose to the 50. Mr. Jordan inside Ohio State territory, down to the Ohio State 26-yard line. That is beautiful running right there. From the, from the 24 now, second down and eight. Leonard under pressure, and down he goes in the backfield. Sacked by Wright. He has seven sacks, 19 TFLs. Leonard looking downfield, throws this thing, and that pass is off the mark, and we're going to have to set up for yet another field goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. You never know with the kicking game when it comes to these thumbs of mine, but today it's working well. Or at least on that play, it was working well, as on the very next play, we kick it out of bounds. So, again, sometimes your boy is on, sometimes he's off, and I was on, and then I'm off. Anyways, Rodriguez up the gut. He's getting boxed in all day long, but Pat Starks is shaking up. You hate to see it. Hopefully it's not too serious. Third down and six now. Play fake under pressure. Now pass is caught by Davis. So a perfect pass. And here comes Ohio State Buckeyes. They're going to run that ball again with Ricky Johnson, the big fullback, and he's going to pick up a decent game there. They're going to throw this one deep, and that pass will fall incomplete. And now we're going to be headed to the second quarter of play. So we get the football, second down and 12. Can we make something happen? We're going to just use our brain, and our brain decided to throw that thing away, which was a good decision. Third down and two. Excuse me, third down and 12. Leonard looking. Still looking, and look out from the backside. Got absolutely tattooed, and that's going to bring this drive to a screeching halt. So we get the ball back to the Buckeyes. Toss play to Rodriguez. Nice spin move. Breaks the tackle. Look at the juke move. 
to go with all the moves, and he maneuvers his way down the field, high stepping, and he's into the end zone, showcasing why he's a top Heisman candidate. Is he gonna be the top one though? He's one of the top, but he's gonna be the top? I don't know. If he keeps on bowling like that today, he might be up there, but hopefully we can box him up and box him in. That pass caught by Osborne, and that's gonna be a first down. Second down and 10, gonna run the ball, battle to the outside, and that outside run picks up four. So second down and six with two for five, can't make it three for six. Leonard looking, Leonard throwing that pass caught by Bass. Yes, sir, we can move those chains all day. It's been easy moving the chains. Let's move the chains again right here. But getting touchdowns has been the problem. We got two field goals. We need a touchy. That pass caught by Al Smith. Got a foot down, and we're stomping closer and closer to the end zone. We run the ball there. We get met with mean intentions. Loss of one. Third down and 11. We take a shot deep. Caught by Bask, and that's another chain mover. The defense is having fits. We can throw it to the back of the end zone. Caught by Zach Bask. And that's exactly what we needed. So 13, no, we're not gonna set up for 13. We want 14 up on the board, so we're gonna go for two, and we get the two-point conversion. So 14 to seven is now the score. So we're up by a cool touchdown. Carney gonna fire that thing to Estes. And Estes got this thing going back the other way. From the 16 yard, I'm gonna give that thing to Ashton Smith. Has a first down, and has us inside the 10. Second down, excuse me, first and goal from the six yard line. Zach Bass in the end zone. That's gonna be a touchdown. 21 to seven. How do we do what we do? Because we keep on doing what we're doing. Rodriguez to the outside, and we're trying to do exactly that. Alfred with the stop right there. Kearney looking downfield. That pass incomplete. We force a three and out with a minute 40 on the clock. We might be able to do something. Second down. Letting that thing fly, caught by Al Smith, having himself a first half to remember. Second down and 12, it's not done. Going right back to Al Smith. He continues to cook. Kirkpatrick with the stop, but after we pick up a first down. Looking downfield, Al Smith. Just throw it to number 15 and let number 15 eat. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, it's delicious. That pass gonna be caught by Davis and Davis will pick up a first down. Now they're gonna run the ball, Rodriguez. He's gonna go backwards, and they decide to take it to the second half of play. So the Buckeyes find themselves down by 21, but they do get the football first, and there's plenty of time. That offense has less than 100 yards of total offense, so hopefully we can keep that going, and I thought I was about to walk away with a pick, maybe even a pick six. Rodriguez up the gut, look out. Dave Sampson gonna put it on you. Third down and 11, they fired that thing. That pass broken up, and look at the Eagles defense. Georgia sucks, one of the best defenses we've ever had. I still think Indiana, can't remember what season it was, but our defense with that dynasty was absolutely ferocious after a couple of years of recruiting. Al Smith makes a beautiful catch right there. We're down inside the 20. Leonard Bond time throwing it back to who? Al Smith, but this time he forgot his hands on that last play. So third down, rolling right. Throwing it, Osborne makes the catch, touchdown, let the tight end get his. 35 to seven, they still trying to run the ball and Mr. Walker is like, you best run the ball the other way. There is no room for you to run the ball over here. Rodriguez to the outside, we're gonna keep him boxed in, but we grab this face mask, so that's gonna be an automatic first down and an extra 15 yards. Up to the 40, they fake it to Rodriguez. Looking downfield, that pass gonna be caught by Jacob Harris, and he's gonna have himself a first down. But now it's third down and eight. Perfect time to get off the field, and we will because we gave him a touchdown. Jacob Harris in the end zone, got the best of Flowers, and that's tough to do. Flowers was in pretty good position, but he just climbed that ladder, and Harris was like, give me that football. So Bass to the 20, to the 30. Still on his feed and forced out of bounds at around the 30-yard line and is clipping, so bring it back to the 15. We're gonna run the ball with Jordan. Look at the way he runs the football, absolutely beautiful. He finds the lane, he hits that speed button, and he gets right through that thing. We're gonna go up the gut right there, and that's gonna be a decent game. Second down and three. We give it to Jordan again, good blocking and better running. So we can start to play keep away, that would be nice, but we're gonna go to the air, and we're looking for Mr. Al Smith who makes the catch. They do not know how to stop him. He's a man amongst boys. Six catches, a buck 32, and still in the third quarter, and then Ashton Smith with the fumbles. This backfield is very, very talented, but they be coughing that thing up like it's nobody's business. Rodriguez to the left side, brought down by Henderson, and that's gonna be a first down. 
Good protection here. Curry steps up in the pocket, throws it deep, and that pass will be broken up by Mr. Flowers. We have come to expect that right there. We've kind of been spoiled by his play. And third down, that pass hits the grass. We take back over up by 21, looking to extend our lead. That pass is dropped by Osborne. We can't have that. So third down to 13 now. Dropping back. Leonard still dropping back. Going to put this football in harm's way, and that pass will eventually hit the grass, which is a good look for us because that could have been, been easily intercepted. That pass caught by Davis. And here come the Buckeyes. They're starting to come back just a little bit. They get the ball to Johnson, and he's going to get boxed in and boxed up, gaining just one. The call goes to Rodriguez, maneuvering through Eagle defenders and stopping before he can pick up the first down. So we're going to head to that fourth quarter up by 21 points. So out of the eye formation, Rodriguez is a deep back. He gets the toss, and look out with mean intention is Dave Sampson. Kearney looking downfield, going to fire that thing, and that pass will be caught by Scott Davis. Scott to Scott, and Scott Kearney puts that thing on a frozen rope, and then Rodriguez is loose, and he's going to get down to the goal line. So first to go from the two. They're going to go to the air. That pass will be caught by Rodriguez, but Dave Sampson's fifth tackle is just as good as his fourth tackle, his first tackle. They're going to run the ball. There goes Campbell with the stop on Johnson. Third and goal. They give it to Rodriguez. He follows Johnson to the Fox Den, and the Fox Den bit him up. So now it's going to be fourth and goal. They go with a play fake. Kearney has it. Steps up in the pocket, and down he goes. Matt Brown with the sack, and that is a beautiful goal line stand right there. So the Buckeyes still find themselves down by three touchdowns. We're going to run the ball with Jordan, and Jordan is going to pick up a gain of nine. From the 16, we give it to him again, finding that running room, breaking ankles in the second down. He finally brought down by Kirkpatrick, but after he picks up a first down, Smith, loose, Smith, first down, Georgia Southern. The way he's running the ball, you can tell he's been well rested during this three game suspension. We go up the gut, first down again. We're going to run the ball with Battle, and Battle has reservations for six. Ladies and gentlemen, 42 to 14, man. All I can do is keep apologizing. Who knows what this season could have been if we didn't assimilate the first five games. Anyways, Leonard, looking downfield. Leonard going to throw that thing. That pass caught by Bass. Another touchdown. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it. The Buckeyes, they came. They got their butt whooped, so we sent them back to the Buckeye State. So we're going to see what Rodriguez did, and this will probably hurt his Heisman chances. 13 carries, 87 yards, one touchdown. It's not a bad day. He averaged 6.6 .6 yards per carry, but he had like a 41, 42-yard touchdown run, so the majority of those yards came on that run right there. For the most part, we were keeping him in check. So I think that that might have sealed his fate because the Buckeyes have no more games until their bowl game because there is no Big Ten championship game in NCAA 06. Anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.